I need Bosch. Like eye drops, ball deer, or her Larsa. I need you to eye drop ball deer. Okay, I can't worry about that. Let's get her in here. Now one more spark fall. We got really lucky. First try. That spore fall can really screw you over. We need to devote the next big batch of money to going around and buying items. Like a lot of items. Save with that crystal so we can heal up. That's the wrong way. <coughs> and we are definitely saving. Alright. Does that little little dude? Does the little dude sell items? Because I desperately need to restock. Before we, you know, go too much farther, it's already 2 a.m. Holy crap. No, 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 can't out there. I accidentally hit attack for that Treon. We don't need to attack that Treon. That Treon's our friend. Or it's neutral. because your map is completely pointless because I already have the entirety of it. Granted, it's only 60, but... I'll take eye drop set. Alright. Yes. Yes. Alright, we have five in inventory. I would like another ten. I'd like at least fifteen. No, let's go with an even twenty items per.
I know this may seem like a bit excessive, but yeah. Buy another 30 of them. Yeah, that's plenty good. Now we got plenty of items. Well, I wouldn't say plenty, but we got a good amount of items now, so. Alright, so let's let's head back through. I just wanted to come back and buy those items because it's like uh one of those things are just like hmm I should really Thank you, Larsa. Dang it. Okay. Now we can proceed to, I forget what the next area is called, but it has to do with, uh, um, it's an icy region, at least up Mount Boroma Safes. I just forget the dang on name. But yeah, it was boss battle, then boss battle. It's, it proves to be one of the harder parts of the entire run. There might be something back here. Yeah, there's a treasure. High ether and 106 skill. And really, we didn't spend a terrible amount on items. So, I do want to swing back around just to see what items we missed. An ether. Head on to the next area. You know, I had thought about putting on a gambit that had every had Balthier and any other white mage constantly casting like shell and protect on everybody. I've done that before in previous you know iterations of the game, but that lowers your MP so fast. That it's just not worth it. It's not. I mean, yeah, it's a little protection, but man, the amount of MP you spend.
The Paramina Rift. Uh, Mount Marseille is to the northeast. Should you go south into the rift, take care. So we need to go to the northeast to proceed in the story. A mage's hat. I think I can equip. Oh, I've already got that on him. And that's the only real person I want that on, because everybody else has armor, and I'm okay with them having armor rather than mage's clothing. I'm not saying mage's clothing is bad, or his light armor's terrible, or nothing like that, just... I prefer the heavier armor on him, if I can. Empires parade down city streets while refugees walk barefoot through the snow. And so I sue for peace to stop short war and ease their suffering. My father will choose peace. Will he now? You sound sure of yourself. You can never know another, even your father. Don't take it the wrong way, okay? Uh. This crisis would not end were I gone. The Senate hates the very fact that House Solidor exists. By necessity, we must find reason to silence them. Necessity? Ah, yes. Necessity. Does that word free you, I wonder? You show no hesitation to solve matters with blood. The sword of House Solidor cannot be left to rust in doubt. It was you, Excellency, who tempered that sword. Is this your idea of vengeance? It is my idea of necessity. Mm. If we do not act now, it is not only our future you imperil. So, you would dirty your hands to keep his clean. My hands are stained with blood. I see little reason to stay them now. Mm. So they are. And so how solid all lives on. I say we go straight for Great Mount Aramis Ace, because then we can get teleport stones after that. It will be a lot easier to travel and do hunting and stuff like that. <coughs> Plus we've only got like 47 minutes left for the uh, end of the stream. a quick stream today it feels like
save it here. We got a lot of plot stuff coming up. Talking to these people really won't make a difference. I don't think there's any salesmen. It's pretty much just a long map to the end. Boy, it loads a lot faster than the old PS2 version. It's a pretty area. treasures on this particular map. No, there's not. Like I said, doing this quickly we can go on a ship, buy teleport zones, and we can do a lot more. Whether it be level grinding or hunting. Look up something while the cutscene plays. Is he sleeping? No, my child. Whoa. I do not sleep. I dream. For reality and illusion are a duality. Two parts of a whole. Only the mirror of dreams reflects what is true. Anastasis, your grace. I am Ashelia... down your words. Ashelia, daughter of Ramanas. I have dreamt your dream. Who better to carry on the Dalmascan line than she who bears the dawn shard? Your dream of a kingdom okay. restored is known to me. Grand Kiltius, then give us your blessing. Grant the Lady Ash her I accession to the... This is something you might reconsider. My little Emperor in waiting. You called and I have come. <sighs> this is the man I wanted you to meet. Believe it or not, he is a member of the noble house Margrace, rulers of the Rosarian Empire. I am but one of very, very many. Try as I might, I could not stop this war alone. Thus, I came seeking Lars's assistance. Uh. I'll seat Margrace at your service. To think I stand before the Lady Ash, it is truly an honor. I see it is true after all. Uh, stunning is Dalmasca's desert bloom. In Arcadia, Larsa. In Rosaria, Al Cid. They dream not of war. Should Empire join with Empire, the way will open for a new Ivelis in our time. <laughs> Grand Kiltius, you speak much of dreams, but in the real world, war is a bonus. Grand Kiltius, I was told my coming here would prevent this war. I was to assume my father's throne and announce the restoration of Dalmasca, treat with the Empire for peace, and persuade the Resistance to stay their hand. I have not come all this way to be asked to reconsider. A word from you and the resistance would stop cold, and Rosario's pretext for joining the war scattered off to the four winds. This was what we had hoped. Alas, circumstances change. A full two years have passed since your reported death. Were it to become known you are still alive, I fear it could only worsen our current situation. Because I am powerless to help. Uh, nay, in fact, it has little to do with you. Then what? If Lady Ash were to extend her hand in friendship, perhaps I could then persuade the Emperor. 
His Excellency will solve things peacefully. The Emperor Gramis is no more. His life was taken. <sighs> Father. I think we all know who did it, too. What I mean, it's pretty obvious. We have to lay hand on our emperor. Deception on an outrage. The Senate will not stand for this. A viper amongst our senators. His chairman Gregoroth as its head. With what dignity remained him, he confessed to the poisoning and passed his own sentence. A viper with many tales. Much of the Senate is culpable. We had no choice but to strip the Senate of authority and assign powers of autocracy to myself until such time as order... Spare me your lies! I see the serpent coiled here before me! Trace, you speak too freely. Zargabath! Do not tell me you join in his mama's farce! With Rosaria poised to invade at any moment, our leader must have a free hand. <sighs> The once great House Solidor is now reduced to myself and my dear brother Larsa. Surely you would not go so far. Vain Solidor! As Judge Magister and upholder of the law, I hereby place you under arrest. <gasps> you misunderstand. Vain did not make himself autocrat. It was the very Ministry of Law which you serve. Do you see it now, Drace? When you bared your sword at His Excellency, you bared your sword at the law. You wear the mummers motley well, Bergen. Inhuman. Not creepy at all. Zargabath, take the Alexander. You will accompany Bergen and bring Larsa back to me, sire. Your Excellency, Lord Larsa was placed under my charge. Oh? Perhaps you mistook your orders then? I can see no other explanation for why you were reporting and conjecturing on my doings to my late father. Your Excellency. A hound begging for scraps at the Emperor's table. Would you serve another master, hound? You may fulfill your duty as Judge Magister before us all. She has been tried and found guilty. Your Excellency, I beg you reconsider. And so, how Solidor lives on. Yeah, you can kind of tell what happened just by the look. Dane killed his father to assume the throne as Emperor. Let us suppose you approach the Empire with a peaceful resolution. The late Emperor Grammys would have lent you his ear, that much is certain. But we are dealing with vain Solidor. Should the princess return, he would claim her an imposter. 
or to tempt the resistance into battle. Vayne wants this war, that much is certain. As our ill luck would have it, the man is a military genius. The dreams have told me thus. To reveal yourself would imperil us all. I see war, and Vayne's name writ bold on history's page. Arcadia's banners fly high. They are making ready for the coming war. According to our latest reports... The Western Armada prepares for war, under Vane's command, no less. The newly formed 12th Fleet has already been deployed. Oh yes, the Imperial First Fleet stands ready. They'll be underway as soon as the Odin's refit is complete, and there is more. The Second Caravan Expeditionary Force is being called in to replace the missing Eighth, so there will be no gaps. The largest force ever seen! And then, the Nethocyte is the coup de grace. Grand Kiltius, your grace. I spoke to you of my succession. Let us put that aside. Should I become queen of Damascus now, powerless as I am, I can protect nothing. With a greater power at my disposal, perhaps then... It is... the Nethesite of which you dream? I require something far greater. To wield power against power. Truly, the words of a Hume child. I am descended from the Dynast King himself. Indeed. Then you have but one choice. Seek you the other power Wraithwall left. Does such a thing exist? Journey across the Paramana Rift to the still shrine of Miriam. There rests the gift he entrusted to the Grand Kiltius of his time. Seek it out. The Sword of Kings can cut through Nethesite. Why he would entrust the power to destroy Nethesite, the instrument of his greatness, to another and not to his own progeny, I cannot say. Awaken Hashelia Benagan and take up your sword, or your dream will remain but a dream. My dream, too, fades into day. Larsa leaves the party. Unfortunate. Now my main goal right now is to get more teleport stones. Even though we have eh, it's somewhat decent enough amount. But I also found out where to get the sluice key, which is to kill the white uh flan that we already have the mission for. So that's what we're going to try and do. Try. Free antidote. 